And I like how I see it like 20. Okay. <laughs> Go. Ba da 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 da. show. Mix hey, number hey, 20. 20. <laughs> 20. 20. 20. Wow. 20. What yeah, happens at 20? Yeah. One year before legal age your first kiss. in the States. 20? <laughs> 20 was your first kiss? No. Yeah, mine was not 20. Mine was a little bit before that. Uh, 19. Didi naman. Pini ko 16. 16. Me yeah. too. Me yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to the Halala Show. Hey, mix yeah. number 20. If it's your first time here, welcome to the show. Hi. Hi. Uh... What's up? <laughs> I'm Rika. I'm JC, uh, and we are hosts of the Hala Hala Show here. Uh, we are also radio DJs at Monster RX 93.1. We talk about everything and anything under the sun. That's why it's called the Hala Hala Show. Mm-hmm. And we have... Oh, actually, yeah, what? we want to say that this is an unedited podcast that's right we don't edit it the only editing we do do is just the clean mm-hmm. the audio but we don't we don't pause Doo-doo. we don't take breaks we don't add sound effects all Doo-doo. our sound effects are man-made yeah do, do a sound effect uh, <laughs> uh, my <laughs> applause <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's ugly <laughs> Uh, what else? Uh, so, like Ricky said, we do talk about uh, anything under the sun, but we do have a certain portion so that we have some sort of uh, mm. structure, structure in our structure lives, in our lives. <laughs> uh, which we do not. Yeah, we do a week in review, so we talk about what happened in the previous week uh, in our lives, and then we talk about our TTs. Uh, if it's your first time here, it's not that bustos. It's yeah, it's for not your TT. trending <laughs> topic. <laughs> trending topics. Uh, so today's trending topics, for example, we're going to be talking about Pete Davidson. And uh see no, no, no. oh. Underworld. Si Kate. Kate Beckinsale. 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 <laughs> Beckinsale. Wait, but that's so cool. Yeah. Like what if she put up like a bakery to spend Bake in sale? Beacon sale. Okay, la, la. okay. Also Captain Marvel, Rika didn't see it yet, but I did. Uh, we're not gonna spoil it, don't worry. I just wanna you know, just cause it's you know, it's, it's hot cool. right now. Also, the Netflix movie Isn't It Romantic has been kinda trending mm-hmm. and Idris Elba is doing something pretty big, apparently. Maybe. Maybe. Supposedly. MJ's baby. Supposedly. <laughs> Our co-DJ. MJ. Yeah, play Pedro. If you guys play Pedro, yeah, she's, she's the there. host there. Uh, what well question? And hey. she loves Idris Elba. She does. She does. She loves. I mean, who doesn't? Our chocolate but... man. Idris I like Elba. chocolate man. Me too. Yeah. I mean, I like, yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and also, we do got us, a, got us a question. We answer a question or two from you uh, as submitted on our social media site. So if you do follow us on there, we'll tell you later what that is. And we also do something occasionally called bucobulary. Okay, so we're going to start with that one. Yeah, and so I prepared the word this week. Wait, okay. I am going to open a phone. Ko. Okay, here. Okay. So the word is limer. <coughs> okay, right. okay, now, okay, now, okay, now, okay, now. Go, 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 go. Limerence. I know. Limerence. What's limerence? Let me spell it. How do you spell it? I L I M E R E N C E. Limerence. I think that's how you say it. Limerence. Okay. Limerence. I don't know. It's the state of being infatuated with another person. Can you use it in a sentence? I'm in limerence. <laughs> I'm in deep limerence with limerence? a person. <laughs> Are you sure that's how you use it? So I, it says there the state of being infatuated. So. Uh, but, uh, he's in limerence. In limerence, right yeah. Now. He's like a state of infatuation. Or my limerence. Is okay. Anyway, mm. you can just like Google it. So it's limerence. Limerence. So it's the state of being infatuated with another person. Limerence. L I. L I M E R E N C E. But it's sorry. But it sounds like a bean or something. Limerence Lime sounds bean. like a. It sounds like a mystical something yeah. like in a book. The limerence. limerence. No, but it's about being infatuated with someone. That's cool. Like yeah. Yassi Pressman. Yeah, you're in limerence with Yassi limerence. Pressman for five years now. Ah, uh, yes. Perfect segue to our weekend review. But before we do that, uh, last mix, I made a mistake. You asked me, what language do they speak in Cambodia? What? I was watching a video kasi kahapon, mm. and I found out it's not, I was wrong. It, they do speak a, their own language, but it's not Cambodian. It's called Khmer. K-H-M-E-R. Khmer. Khmer. I hope I'm saying that right. So you got a Khmer yeah, and then gonna, learn this learn language. Learn Khmer <laughs> in Cambodia. So I just wanted to clear that up. Uh, okay. Yeah, my bad on that. Okay. So I'm in limerence with Yassi Pressman. I've been... I love Yassi Pressman. Okay, first You've of all... You've been in limerence with... Since um, Diary ng Pangit. Actually, because okay. you know what? I didn't watch... Because she was on GMA. Okay. And like even TV5 mm-hmm. before. And I, I didn't really watch those channels. So you know history. 
<laughs> kind of. I mean, not really, but uh, yeah, kind of. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just say yes. Yeah. Uh, Diary ng Pangit. She was so cute. And, and ever since then, I was really, I, you know, I became a fan. Mm-mm. And uh, I think a lot of you know, even listeners on the radio know that I, I even had a, a, like a stinger where my Christmas wish was, yes, yeah, April's mom. Yeah. And it, I'm sure she heard it. And uh, on Tuesday of last week, so like March, was that five? The first day of your, <laughs> of oh your life. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She finally came to the studio. Wait, this is the first time. First time I met her. Well, I've seen her. Okay. Anyway. You've seen her from afar. I've seen her from... Actually, I saw her really close. From her bedroom window. (laughs) Joe Goldberg. (laughs) JC Tevez Goldberg. Okay, go, go. Uh, And she went to the station to uh, guest on The Morning Rush. So Rika, Rika, the show that Rika is on in the mornings. And oh, it was so awesome. Okay, first of all, I had an event in the morning. Mm -hmm. It was all the way in Pasay. So I was really bummed. Because I didn't know about this whole Yasi Pressman thing until a day before yeah. she was coming. So, you know, if I had known weeks before or maybe a week before, I probably would have turned down the money just to, so that I could be sure to meet her. But I didn't know. And, of course, I had an obligation. So the event was in Pasay. Hmm. And it was just a breakfast like uh, like a, I forgot what, what you call like it. Like a press con? Not thing? a press con. It was just like a kickoff to their okay. whatever, blah, blah, blah. And we started late because my it started around forgot it was supposed to start around 6 30 or 7 okay. but we started like well 15 30 minutes late so i was like come on hurry up because it's only supposed to be an hour yeah so good thing long story short i was able to make it to the station and i was in time in time and she was there and i saw yasi Prisma. it was actually so your good. your timing was perfect because it was the like the time where we explained everything to her why we have the tum- why you have the tumbler yes i have a her. tumbler by the way guys if you don't know i have a tumbler uh, it's a starbucks tumbler i think no yeah. no it's, well, best yeah. it's a tumbler and you know it's one of those where you can make your own design mm-hmm. inside so I've had a picture of Yassi Pressman in, in there. It was like a really ghetto cutout from a magazine. Mm-hmm. And I just put it on the paper and yeah. I put it in my Tumblr. And it's, it's been on there for more than a year now. And uh, I thought I wasn't going to make it. So I asked Rika to get her to sign it for yeah. me. Uh, so they explained that to her, right? Yeah, so... I explained everything. We explained everything. We showed her the video of uh, JC explaining the show log and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we said, you know, I feel like she he loves you like a normal amount. Yes, <laughs> and a then normal amount. He not went, creepy. Yeah, not creepy. And then you went, uh, actually you arrived and you, imme- you immediately told her, I love you. <laughs> I, I did. Yeah. No shame. And no you know shame. what she did say? She did say, uh, she okay. said that it was, what well, was the word? The wording. Okay. This, I'm not making this up. Recall right. about me. What was the wording? She said, I've never. Had, nobody has nobody, ever talked yeah. to me like that before. Yes. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah. I don't know. But I like to think of it as a good thing. Because I was like. It is. I no, mean, because I she thought, meant. I figured I would never see her again. Yeah. Right? So I was like. I love everything Pour about you. Pour your heart out. It's like, I love everything about you. Blah, 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 blah. You know, not that I was expecting anything, but I was yeah. like, you know, I was like, you know, I just want to make it known. I love you, Yassi Pressman. Oh my gosh, ako lang, naka, like, ako lang nakapansin na nginginig yung kamay ni Jason. I did, I was really, I was, I was, I was like on a, you know those adrenaline rushes yeah. where you don't even care anymore? You're just like, oh, I'm just gonna say whatever. Mm. That was it. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna wash my tumbler. <laughs> not that I ever wash it anyway, but. For sure, yeah. Now. Don't don't I'm wash ever. it. Boop, boop, boop. Nakalagay pa dun, it's fully touched. Yes, that was a, that was a man. That was a great met, day. Have you? Yeah, because I it's, hosted it's, with her once, and it was not like yeah, I, know, I feel you, like you talked yeah, about it before, yeah. and your so, back was pawi pawi. Right? So sinabi ko sa kanya yun that day, and she just laughed. <laughs> You know, I feel like, I mean, and you sprayed your belly button with. Uh, well, it's a real thing. I told you. I, know, I, I even you, posted on your story. Uh, yeah. Right? Okay, so if you didn't listen to the morning rush that day, Rika apparently sprayed. I know. Perfume. I always spray perfume. You always spray perfume. I always on your I never belly button, your yeah. puson area. May puso, may puson. Puson ba? Uh oh. Uh, not belly puson. Butt. What's puson? The area around. Ah, uh, okay. So that area, mm. Be- because apparently, what does it do? It's like um, it radiates more. Because it, it produces um, heat from your body, parang the most heat from your body, and it radiates. The smell radiates from your belly button. Uh-huh. Parang it lasts the whole day. Really? That was because of the shape. But on the actual belly button or just on your clothes? Not naman sa loob na loob. No, just no, like no. But like on your it. skin though. Yeah, on my ah, skin, on around skin. it. That's because of the shape. Parang it, parang it catches more of the what do you call that? The perfume or the scent. So it lasts. How many times do you spray? Just once. Uh, I mean, no, I mean on your body. What do you have a routine? Yeah. I Me, mean, I do once on the wrist, and then mm-hmm. I rub it on my other mm-hmm. wrist. 
and then once on like my neck I don't spray below my neck though. I should now. now yeah. That, now that you tell me about that. I know. I spray um, behind my ears, both behind both ears. my ears. Um, my shoulders, I don't even know why. It doesn't even make sense. And then my belly button. Mm, I don't know if there's a right way to do it. Sabi ng nga, nga kasi nila, it's like your yung heat spots of your body. So your oh. elbows, behind your elbows. Kili kili. Yun nga, your wrists, kasi you can rub them. Is that why the uh, deodorant heat. is supposed to be in your. Well, it's good. Well, because you're kili kili. You know. Always probably. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And I feel like, because a lot of people still spray in their, you know, the back of their, their ears. I've never right? done the back of their ears. But really? I rub my wrist on uh, my neck. Yeah. So, I don't know if that counts. Kaya nga rubbing is, is also good because it, it produces heat. heat. Oh, yeah. So, it, it'll like, you know, parang it'll activate something in the perfume. I don't know. For perfume experts out there, can you tell us? Tweet us. Yeah. Tweet us why or something. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's it. Yeah. See, Pressman. Uh, that, that, was, much, that was it. That was it. <laughs> the uh, highlight I Captain of Marvel, movie. but we're going to talk about that on the TTs later. Uh, no. I went back to the gym. Okay, this is the first time. I'm serious now. I'm yeah. going to the gym for real now because there's no more holidays, no more vacations. Oh, I started a meal plan. Mm-hmm. So I'm doing that now. So, uh, you know, I'll just keep you updated throughout the coming weeks. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's all that I really did this this week. No? I can't think of what else I did. Yeah. Yeah. How about you? Yeah, my weekend Besides was Jesse pretty... Pressman. I mean, like, my weekend was pretty uneventful, but... Oh, yeah, so uh, this <coughs> week, um, somebody lent me their car, so I got to drive around Manila. I know how to drive, mm-hmm. and I've been driving Panaman since I was in high school, but, you know, I stopped because it's so stressful, and then, like I said a while ago during mm-hmm. the show, Metro Manila never fails to remind me that how stressful it is to drive around Manila, you know? Mm-hmm. So, I like, the first few hours that I was out on the road, I got... Um, flagged down twice. Really? In one day. And just a, For like... what? In a matter of... What violation? Well, okay. The thing is, okay, the first one, it was really my fault. Actually, both were my fault. But like, okay. the first one, because I went to yellow lane. But then, the thing is, I was... Um, alam mo, I was following another car to yeah. the lane. Right. And then, so I got flagged down. Ma- the thing that pisses me off is... Bakit hindi na flag down yung isa? Oh. So, you know, I was really. Did they make a right turn? Did they try to turn? No, it, they were just in the lane. Oh. Ako lang yung. Selective. You know, ako lang yung <laughs> na, na bigin nila ng chance. And then, um, so I was, at that point, I was really so frustrated that I just, I was really just compliant na parang. Sige, go lang. So they took my my license. They were oh, taking no. down, they were taking down whatever there is. And then sinabi niya, oh ma, magpapay kayo ng ganito. And then you have to um, attend the seminar. So ako, okay po. Tapos maya maya sabi niya, oh sige ma'am, seminar na lang. You don't have to pay. So ako, sige po sir. Tapos maya maya, sige ma'am, warningan ko na nga lang kayo. Wow. Warningan na, na kayo. That works. Sabi niya, kasi ang bait mo naman eh. Sige, okay na. Alis na kayo ganyan. Sige, talaga po. So I was just thinking, Maybe they were they were waiting for something. I uh, gets, 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 I, uh, gets, gets, probably because they could yeah. have given me yeah the full That's true. right. Mm-hmm. And then the second one, um, I forgot it was my car was coding number one. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, so yeah, so sabi sabi ko na I'm I'm rushing to work. Ganyan. because they asked me, I didn't I didn't you know volunteer the information. Sabi kasi nga san san ba kayo pupunta, ma'am? Nagmamadali ba kayo? Um, opo, nagmamadali po ako, may work po ako. Ano ba trabaho niyo? Right, so, yeah. I said, mm. I didn't say that, oh, I'm a radio DJ yeah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, said ko, um, DJ po, ganyan, sa Strata 2000. I didn't even say the station. Right. So, they got my ID, my media ID, mm. and then they let me go. Mm. So, after that. But Apparently, the, that works though, eh. Media IDs. I, I know, but I don't use it. Of course it. not. Yeah, I don't you use it. But so, apparently it does. Naisip ko talaga na it's just <clears throat> so freaking stressful. And on top of that, we have douchebag drivers, mm. you know, bus drivers and jeepney drivers and the other... Buses are the... I fucking hate the yeah. buses on EDSA. It's just... It's... Yeah. They don't stay in their lane. Yeah, you know how they, they say, stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. They don't. <laughs> Sit down. Be humble. Be humble. <laughs> that shit is the... I hate yeah, buses is. and I hate motorcycles. That go like yeah. randomly at mm-hmm. a really fast pace, like on your side. Yeah, it's so dumb. I know. It's just that um, I get it if you're maybe in when you're stopped. Yeah, and then the motorcycles go, you know, past you. Mm-hmm. But they go when you're driving, like at you know, at a good. They speed. could go at another lane. They, no, they could. Yeah. They could stay in, in their the lane. lane. Yeah, in the middle of the lane, like a car, because that's what they should be doing, yeah. right? It, I I don't mind them going through the. I mean, it's not. I don't think it's. I think it's against the rules. Yeah. Right? But 
uh, if in some in the states, for example, there's some states where you can ride along mm-hmm. the the lines, like in between yeah. cars. But yeah, you it, can here. Yeah, but yeah, well, it's it's. I think they should only do it when it's at a red light, though. Because right. if you do it at a full speed, you don't know. No, but the and thing is, and they're so hard to see in your side mirrors. And plus, I think it's like a really like. Alam mo parang mahirap to talaga correct yun because number one, there are all these rules that we can't keep up anymore. Mm-hmm. Alam mo hindi ko na alam kung pwede ba magturn dito, but some people are turning, but when you turn, biglang bulihin ka. I, I agree parang, that too. You know, they're not clear and there's just too much information out there. Like, or too little, actually. Too, I think for me, it's too... Well, too much in terms of the lo- number of laws, but mm-hmm. too little in terms of signs. Yeah, and, exactly. Uh, and like regulations on the road itself. Mm-hmm. I mean, enforcement of it on the mm-hmm. rule, on the roads. I think it's like both, which is it's weird. Like, sa sobrang dami na nilang rules and regulations and laws and everything, they can't even properly inform people mm-hmm. of the changes. Like, can you just imagine, like, the? Um, I read an article, like a full article about the the coding regulation. Mm-hmm. So meron pa palang, obviously there are windows. Okay, gets ko yun. But then there's coding but, in certain areas, Yeah, in right? certain areas, and then there are certain areas. That, and you don't even know, like, there are no signs. Exactly. The borders, where do you, you know, it's just... Also confusing. Yeah, That's as someone why... who didn't grow up here too, yeah, I I, I googled it mm-hmm. and there's different uh, websites and some most of them are not updated mm-hmm. by the way. So I said someone who could create an app, uh, like a, like a like... Waze app, uh-uh. but it would only guide you on roads Rules. where where you don't have uh, coding. Mm-hmm. I think they would make a lot of money or whatever. And there are so many like loopholes. Like let's say because like let's say because the jeepneys are from there, they can take like. An uh, illegal U-turn, because they're from there. Then, when you take the U-turn, and there's no sign saying yeah, only jeepneys. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. you know, like, because they're from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, class slash lesson I ah, sorry the driving test here yeah I did. you did right yeah so how does I, what is it like I've never done I did it in the states it's so weird because they give you the answer sheet before you answer the whole test huh? so you can read the answer sheet and, and then, then answer it while it's no, in front no, no, of no. you no they give you they give you the answer sheet like 15 minutes before so they take it Ah. And then they give you the test, and then whatever you remember, you can just. But nobody that's fails. A, but that's awful, right? I think so. I feel like that. That's not a good way. I think that's a, well. Personally, I think that's a reason why there's so many bad drivers mm-hmm. out there because you give them the answer. It's like giving no, a no. But the thing is, it doesn't even matter if you answer it correctly or whatever because the test is so generic. It doesn't even. Uh, help you learn the, the rules, rules and regulations outside. Yes. Alam mo, it's just like, oh, pag nakita mo yung red, stop. stop. Green. Is there a uh, physical driving yeah. exam? There yeah, is, I right? did. I did the okay. physical driving How is that? exam. Because for me, full disclosure, in the States, I failed my first <laughs> driving exam. It was just in a mini course inside the... Um, you didn't drive on the streets? No. I mean, we have to drive on the streets yeah, with I, traffic. Yeah, uh-uh. So we didn't have that, and I feel like some people they don't even undergo the physical, the full thing. yeah, the full thing because of like their driving school or something. But I went through it. Um, we had a course, so stop, go, park, I don't know, reverse, yung but yung hanging, and that's it. That's it. In the states, kasi you have to the instructor really drills you into the drills the you know, the the basics mm-hmm. into you. And to me, that's what I l- see is lacking here. Besides yeah. the lack of signs and whatever, I fucking hate. Please don't. If you do this, please don't. I hate people that don't use their signals. Yeah. No, it's a, like or they use it only when they when turn. They're tur- when they're turning You need already. to use your signals when you switch lanes. Yeah. You need to use your signals when you're going out of a parking spot. Mm-hmm. You need to use signals when you're backing into a parking spot. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's because that's how we communicate. Yeah, Actually, that's I what can't... I learned from um, from my teacher before. Yeah. Parang, because we can't use our words, you gotta use the car. It's Hello, the fucking worst. Like people, <laughs> oh my! Every day, you cannot go along Edsa without somebody. And I wouldn't even say call it cutting you off. They just switch. It's you know if they're even ahead of you a couple meters mm-hmm. and they go into your lane. But they don't signal. That's still dangerous. Yeah. 
That's so dumb. I hate I know. that shit. It's just so weird. So if you're here. driving and you don't use your turn signals when mm-hmm. you do anything with your car, that involves moving it mm-hmm. from wherever you are because that's how it works. That's the rules, man. You know what? From I, I just remembered from Criminal Minds, some some people who hurt other people using their cars because mm. they they think palana the, their cars are an extension of their. Ah, uh, ano, what do you call that? Uh, compensating for Oh, oh parang, parang extension ng woohoo nila yung, <laughs> yung car niya. Anyway, also, I got into a really interesting podcast this week. Another podcast. What's it called? I feel like I shouldn't even be talking about it because, okay, guys, don't tune out, okay? <laughs> What's it called? It's called My Favorite Murder. Mm. Um, and it's about true crime. And there are two... Um, Comedians, I believe, they talk. They're really, really into true crime, and <laughs> their their fans are called murderinos and murderinas. And I'm a murderina now. <laughs> That's super funny, nila. It's like so. I was telling someone now. I was listening in the car. Um, I was I was listening uh, to their podcast. They said, "Why are you laughing? It's about murder." And I'm like, they make it so funny. <laughs> they make it so interesting. It's just, I mean, it, it my already, favorite murder. My favorite murder. And then they actually have. A song. Some I think somebody wrote it or something. Cool. Listen, uh, listen to it after this. After, after yeah, this. listen to this first, okay. and then listen to my my favorite murder. If you're into true crime, because if not, you're gonna. You be... listen to serial. Serial's no. pretty good. You should listen to serial. Is it like? Um, it's about it's about like killers and stuff too. Serial killers, but it's more it's more. Because the uh, fun to my favorite murder. It's not just serial killers. It's like you can send in anything dark about your hometown or about anything that happened to you. My favorite one was the foot licker. Somebody just hmm. was just sleeping in their dorms. Um, oh yeah, yeah. You said something yeah. on your morning rush. Yeah, yeah. That was they were. That was someone was licking her foot. Thus, kadira de ba? So umalis yung guy. The next day, she was sleeping in her dorm room. Tapos ando yung guy sa window. What? It was like the weirdest thing ever. See, it's not about. The it's not just about liquor. Her, the foot liquor. Anyway, so yeah, one of my. You know, I'm obsessed. Is that else? Is that everything you did this week? Yeah, that is right. Yeah. yeah, and then Yassi Pressman. Yassi Pressman! She she's touched like, her back, it was dry. She's like really super interesting to talk to. And yung parang it's so easy, breezy. Yeah, she is, she's very it's like, well-spoken. Yeah, and you're not even... Parang feeling more you're just talking to a friend. Yeah. That's it. Ang cute ng bosses. Well, for you, your girlfriend. Ang cute ng bosses nga! Kasi in love, in love, poof. Titi time! Wait, pwede bang ano? Pwede bang seryosoy na natin yung competition? What? Uh, who would she pick? versus Who would she pick? You or me? I would say... Me! You. <laughs> you don't have a Tumblr. That's not uh, creepy. Yeah. All right. Uh, titi time. Titi. First, uh, Rika's, uh, Rika tweeted about this, actually. <sighs> Just super affected. Pete Davidson, of course, you might know him. Former fiance of Ariana Grande is now dating Kate Beckinsale. Beckinsale. Kate Beckinsale. Uh, if you know, you might know her from the movies Underworld, Click, Pearl Harbor. Ano pa ba? Well, those She's are like hot. Her, yeah. Uh, uh, Serendipity. Yeah. Which was actually an okay movie. Ah, uh, yeah. They were they're now officially dating apparently, and so at, a, ko, guys. at a hockey game. Okay, they were Tell at it. a hockey game, and they were eating <laughs> their faces. Yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> they were making out like with tongue, and you could see it, and you can zoom in, and you could see the exchange of saliva. Okay. And it was in public too. It was in public, like real public. No, what is this? And college? I know, right? Is this girls gone wild? <laughs> No, just kidding. No, I'm not taking a hit on Kate Beckinsale. Or I'm girls gone hit. wild. Yeah. Keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> Support. So, if you have a lot go fund me. Go fund me. Girls gone wild. Anyway, I'm actually like so just surprised and baffled by this relationship. First of all, Rika is a Pete Davidson hater. Uh, For what though? What did he do to you? Hindi kasi parang ako yung parang. This is just too much. Alam mo yung unang una, you don't need to do this kind of PDA yeah. when your ex is. Uh, what? Alam She's mo yung, doing good things. It's just I'm annoyed. Yun lang yun. Ariana. <laughs> yeah, I'm super duper annoyed by this. But you know what? Parang, they broke up in October, pala, no? Tagal yeah, uh, that was a while ago. That was five was months ago. It was still a while ago. But alam mo yung parang this is like a little too immature for me. That was well, he, you know what? He's pretty young, though. How old is Pete Davis? I'm, I'm googling it right now. Something. He is twenty. And I, Kate I Beckinsale know. is forty-five. Forty-five. Right? Yeah, she looks. Great she doesn't for look. 45. She doesn't look like 
45. So, you know, I'm just super annoyed. <laughs> I'm sure if this is like a real thing, it'll happen. She, he's 25 years 25. old. 25. Okay. I'm older I'm, than yeah, him. Yeah, I'm older than him uh, See? also. So, so you're telling 25-year-old you didn't didn't uh, make out in public? Hmm? No, hmm? never. Even never. if you were drunk? Hmm? No, my 22-year-old self Maybe. Then. <laughs> That's three but years old. anyway, so, alam mo yun, parang it's just, ah, uh, naiinis ako. <laughs> Hindi, feeling ko lang kasi, the reason why I'm so annoyed, it's just that, alam mo yun, parang, hindi ka... <laughs> Si Talo. <laughs> <laughs> so, she's so... She's such a classy woman. She likes funny guys, though. Her I, last I boyfriend was a, was a comedian yeah, as well. Yeah, oh, but... Who's better good, looking, though? The other one. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, I think he was better looking than yeah. the previous boyfriend. Uh, I don't know his name. One. So, um, wala lang. Parang she's such a classy woman. Tapos wala lang si David. They've been uh, seeing each other for a while. At least, I think this was Alam like the parang, I can't describe why I'm so annoyed by this. Why? <laughs> like, I want words, guys. I, okay, know, I'm let me think it. about this first before I elaborate my feelings because nauna pangungunahan ako ng feelings ko eh. <laughs> you know, it's just that whenever I see them together, I'm like, oh, I hate this again. Man, why? You know how, how when you see people and you just get annoyed instantly and you don't know even, you don't even know Does why. Does he have a punchable face? Is that what he you're saying? He has a punchable. Some people have punchable faces. Yeah, he probably has a punchable face. Yeah, I but I wouldn't punch face. him. I'm not that who violent. Who is it? There's somebody that I fucking hate their face, and I just <laughs> like it. So annoying. Just even though wanna... they, they haven't done anything wrong yeah, to me. See, this is what I'm Actually, there's about. a lot of basketball players, NBA players. Mm-hmm, that but... you just want to punch? No, I just don't like them. They're really good. Right. But I, hate, if you're a basketball fan, I hate Chris Paul. I fucking <laughs> Why? hate. I hate his face. <laughs> See, he just looks like a little bitch. I hate him. <laughs> and he's so good too. Oh, he's a little older now, and his team's mm. doing really well. But I, I fucking see. Hate I told his you. Face. I hate. That's his how face. I feel about Pete Davidson. Blah. But I wouldn't be mad at him for kissing Kate Beckinsale if Chris Paul. I'm not David. mad. I'm annoyed. I wouldn't be annoyed. I'm at super. Him. I'm just annoyed at Chris Paul on the basketball court because he just he's so annoying. Looking. So at the same time, I'm annoyed at, <laughs> at you know Pete Davidson for breathing. I'm gonna Google that <laughs> celebrities with punchable, punchable faces. faces. I wonder. If, I'm sure there's a Buzzfeed <laughs> list or some shit like that. Anyway, while we do okay, that, okay, okay, okay. I really want to see this. Anyway, uh, while we do that, why don't we move on to isn't it romantic? Uh, the movie on Netflix starring Rebel Wilson, like- right? Yeah, Rebel Wilson. Rebel Wilson, or AKA Fat Amy from uh, no, Pitch Hey, Perfect. it's Fat Patricia. Is it Fat Patricia? No, but at the end of the I movie, want, but on, it's actually Fat Patricia. Fat Patricia. I I thought it was okay. Yeah. I fell asleep the first time watching. <laughs> it was. Uh, if you don't know, it's a. Uh, it's on Netflix right now. It's basically about this. Uh, this girl played by Rebel Wilson, who grows. Who's taught to like hate rom coms mm-hmm. growing up, and then. She gets into like an accident or something. I forgot. She hits her yeah, head. Yeah, he right? got mu- she got mugged and yeah. then she hits, hits hits her head. Hit her head. Yeah. And then she wakes up uh, in a romantic comedy. Are you Google? <laughs> what you Google it too? Celebrities. Twelve most punchable faces. Yeah, I know. Celebrities. That's what I mean. Your your tango dot com. Twelve most punchable faces. Or uh, there's or the here, ten, ten. I see for, a ten, ten. I'm trying to load it. Now, anyway, your tango's loading right now. Okay, go, go. Okay, be- okay, before we get to the Rebel Wilson movie. <laughs> slideshow. I hate... I know, I same. hate websites that make a slideshow. Just show me the wait, names wait, wait. on I one page. I have one um, from whatculture.com. Oh, no. F- number 10, Nicholas Holt. <laughs> what? Really? I find he's one of my man crushes, Nicholas Holt. Well, And I saw the thumbnail. Like one of my skin, man crushes uh, is there, too. Who? Shia LaBeouf. Yeah. But he's I like punchable. skins, actually. Ah, skins. Yeah, he was great. Yeah, he was also great in About a Boy. He was a kid. He was the. He was still a kid. He was with Hugh Grant. I don't remember that movie. Uh, yeah, he was young. Like he was a child actor okay. already. Uh, skins. He was also Beast in the. the and X-Men. the one with the zombie movie. Oh, uh, Warm bodies. Warm bodies. Back on the internet. Robin Williams. What? Really? No, I don't no. think so. I don't. Why would you so. want to punch Robin Williams? I don't know. Excuse Mark me. Mark Wahlberg. Oh, puede. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. And they could say he'll punch you first. That's true. <laughs> Robert Pattinson. You know what? He. You know what? Mark Wahlberg really has a way to make everything so dad. Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, he's such a dad, but he's such a 
dad. Oh, you know who? Okay, James Franco's on this list, but I fucking hate Dave Franco's face. Oh his yeah. Brother. Oh, I hate his Even... face. Oh, I hate him. <laughs> He's so guapo, but I just I, I, he has a very punchable. Yeah, he face. has a punchable face. But I love James Franco. But anyway, Dave Franco, um, man, what a. Uh, what do you call this? Can I just say something about Mark Wahlberg what? and his IG videos? It's so dad because they usually like millennials. Oh, you follow, when you, I don't follow him. I follow him because I'm obsessed with him. Anyway, so. <laughs> Um, you know, usually like millennials, when you take a video, you take it like a selfie, right? He wants other people to take his video mm. and be like, hey, what's up? It's Mark Wahlberg. Oh, <laughs> like, dad it up, man. Dad it up. <laughs> Number two on this list is Jaden Smith. I could see um, that. I could see it. I think he's like a really artsy, artsy person. <laughs> Number one is Adam Sandler, apparently. Mm. I mean, this is just a, um, the, obviously it's a, it, it's feeling a subjective say, list. Feeling ko, <laughs> he's punchable offensive. because of the... The characters, characters. That he sees. What an offensive list, right? Like, <laughs> ten most punchable. Punchable. Yeah, that's a terrible list. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so Rebel Wilson. Rebel Wilson, yeah. Isn't it romantic? So she, I'm sorry, so back to off the tangent here. She hits her head after getting mugged, and she wakes up in mm-hmm. a, her world becomes a romantic comedy. Like, all the tropes, all the cliches that you mm-hmm. would see in romantic comedy. So people are dancing. You can, uh, her her curse words are getting bleeped out because yeah. it's a PG thirteen rom com and like New York is filled with flowers. Flowers, everything smells everything good. Everything is clean. She gets complimented all the time. Yeah, she has a gay best friend. <laughs> I love that. She has uh, a love interest who's not you know is not really good for her, and she has the best friend or the who's other in friend love, who's yeah. in love who's with in her, love but she doesn't see it. I actually it's, like the ending. It the guy who plays it is I know I see the guy the from one from Pitch, Pitch Perfect. Perfect. What's his name? Adam Devine, I think. Yes, his name. there he's go. funny. Huh? Yeah, he is. Yeah, uh, so yeah, he he's uh, there. It, basically, it's a good movie. I, you know, no spoilers. But what mm. did you think of it? I think it was interesting because it's parang <coughs> it was. Hindi naman siya fourth wall le. Eh. Hindi siya fourth wall, diba? No, it's more of a. I think it's more of like a a, a parody. What do you call that? A parody yeah, there a parody. Because it's parang uh uh. Because you know, every time like let's say music plays, big lang is be no, no, I'm I'm not gonna do this right. or something like that. So I kinda like that aspect of it mm-hmm. because it's just if you think about it, all the rom coms really it's just a little you know. It's a it's a formula. Yeah. It, it is a formula. Whether it be musical or not, there's uh similar mm-hmm. you know things. Which isn't a bad thing, I think. Yeah, but, I mean, and I mean, you know, because of the consumer, people, people. We should talk about that actually right now since we got a lot of time. Diba? parang people like the formula, and if you want to see a rom com, then that's how, diba? parang that's how they do it, and that's what you want to watch. Uh, Lexi uh, was saying that she liked the fact that you don't realize that you all these things do happen in all these rom coms until they blatantly, they, yeah, put it out. Like out. The, there's a scene we don't want to. Spo- it's not really a spoiler, but there's a scene. Basta the guy gives her like uh, flowers mm. or like petals, and you're like, "How am I supposed to do something with these petals?" And then it magically happens. Yeah, it happens a lot in rom coms. Mm-hmm. So my goodness. Thirteen going on thirty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I love that movie actually. Yeah, you know what? I was gonna ask you now that since we have time, what are your favorite rom coms? Because thirteen going on thirty was a big inspiration for the isn't yeah, it romantic uh-uh. movie. I like yeah. thirteen going on thirty. I also like. I love. Uh, I liked Hitch. Mm-hmm. I like Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. Anything oh, I that? like that mm, one. It's a good one. Uh, love Actually, if you count that as a rom com, it is kind of. I like the Love those... Actually is my favorite though. Mm. If it's gonna. I like those kinds of movies. Yung parang lahat sila connected, like um, Valentine's Day, Happy New, New Year's, New Year's Day. Eve. New Year's I Eve. love New Year's Eve because Common is there. Common. Yeah, Common He's another is daddy. Dark Actually, black okay, so dark common. Uh, so MJ is to Idris Elba, Elva, Elva, <laughs> Elba, and Rika is to common. Common. I just, I just love him so much. Uh, the proposal was pretty good. I, I like the proposal. I, oh, I really like. Te- I'm looking at the list on Google because it ten things, Ted? ten ten <laughs> ten things I hate about you with the late uh, Heath Ledger. Oh. Have you seen that? Yeah, I've seen it a couple of times. I love that down. movie. Oh, really? Okay, mm-hmm. no, I love that movie. Oh, um, the one that I like was If Only. Oh only. man, Who's that is really good. Um, uh, what's his What's his face? Okay, while you think about that, uh, oh, all the Hugh Grant rom coms are pretty good. Notting Hill is uh-huh. excellent. My favorite Hugh Grant rom com is either Two Weeks Notice or Music and Lyrics. Those are both excellent rom coms. Yeah, for Music me. and Lyrics. Are... Two Weeks Notice. You good know, he has are... like 
Eh, parang meron kasi siyang vibe. Yeah, he has a parang... douchey yeah, but douchey. charming vibe. Uh-huh. That's what I like. I love oh, it. there. Um, it's Jennifer Love Hewitt. What's the title? If only. Is that where the guy repeats the day? Yeah. That's not oh. a rom com. Is that a rom com? Well, it's kind of just romantic. Okay. They're ano pala yun, ro- romantic drama. How to lose a guy in ten days. That was okay. Oh uh, yeah, 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 I like that. Bridget part. Jones, which is okay. Mm-hmm. Something about Mary. I like that movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pala, no? Oh, else? Sweet Home Alabama. I enjoyed Sweet Home Alabama. I forgot. That's I with forgot. Reese, no. uh, Reese with yeah, I watched it once. It's okay. Yeah. Adam Sandler has some actually good rom coms too. Wedding Singer, mm. Fifty First Dates. Click. <laughs> uh, no, Click is Click <laughs> is so sad, not the end. Yeah. Yeah, but those are good. Oh, no, it's like a complicated romantic movie. Uh, Crazy comedy. Rich Asians, rom com. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It good. is. Crazy Stupid is Love is kind of a rom com. I mean, there's comedy, but it's, it's pretty heavy. Mm-mm. And About Time also, there's some comedy, but it's 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 drama comedy. Yeah. About Time is really good. Have you seen it? No. With Rachel McAdams and uh, the guy who in Harry Potter. What's his name? Who? He plays one of the Weasley brothers. One of the le- oh, le- really? One of the lesser known Weasley Ooh, brothers. Oh, who? That's interesting. See, I know. See, Dom, Dom, Dom Nall Gleason. This guy, this guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, the, isn't that the guy from Black Mirror? Yeah. The robot? The yeah. robot dude? He was an ex machina, I think. Anyway, so. Yeah, I Dom feel like Nall I'm wrong. Dude. You know, I'm wrong about a lot of things. So <laughs> you better, like, look it up. But yeah, watch About Time. It's yeah. a good. He, oh, I, a, I will, I will. He's a... Uh, it's, it's, like about it's, t- it's about time travel. Okay. Like, he can time travel. But it's not like one of those, really, where time travel is, like, a big deal. Mm. Here, it's just more like a... A normal thing? Uh, it's just... No, no. It's, it's more like a... It's a secondary to oh, the story. Okay. It's great about time. That's like the second movie about tra- time travel that Rachel McAdams. Yeah, Time Traveler's <laughs> Wife, which I was, I was so boring for me. You know what? Because the book was really nice. I read the book. Oh yeah. And it's more interesting in the book because you know, um, so you're reading something. He's in a, in, he's in one place, and then biglang magiiba yung because he tra- he time traveled. Biglang magiiba yung writing style. Alam you know, Does he time travel? I I never I've forgotten it. Does he do it willingly or it no, just happens? No, right? it happens. So it's weird. like a condition. That's weird. Yeah, it's a little weird. You know what movie about time travel is good but wasn't received well? Mm. The Butterfly Effect. Oh. I enjoyed that movie. Is that about time travel? Yeah, he can time travel when he like reads those notes. The Ashton the, Kutcher. The, the about time travel. It is about time travel. Silly. He goes back in time and fixes things and screws things up. Are you sure? Yeah, what are you talking about? Isn't it the one like you mean the Kitcha? Yeah, he has a nosebleed, right? No, iba yun, I swear. No, Ashen Kutcher, Butterfly Effect. Look it up. Google it. Wait, sige, sige, sige. Google it. it it's with Amy Smart. Who I love Amy Smart, by the way. Uh, yeah, Butterfly <laughs> Effect, 2004. Yeah, I Googled it. Butterfly Effect. Check that movie out. Okay. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Next, what next, else? Next. Next. Uh, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. You, uh, no spoilers, of course, because Rika hasn't seen it. Well, I we don't want to spoil it. it. I watched it. Mm-hmm. I thought it was very good. Okay. But it falls into the same realm for me. As uh, like Doctor Strange mm-hmm. and like the second Ant Man and like Thor, the first Thor, okay. where they were good. So is it not, like a movie that you won't get if I you're not super interested in the Marvel universe? Well, I think you. Well, at this point in time, if you haven't watched Avengers. the Marvel movies in general, you shouldn't really be into Captain yeah. Marvel. I feel like you wouldn't be into it, but. You can watch it as a standalone movie. Of course, uh, you know how Marvel's known for their ending credits mm-hmm. or uh, ending credit scenes. Uh, obviously, you won't get that because okay, you, because you have to know the story. But as a standalone movie, it's pretty good. You won't get any of the references, mm-hmm. of course, because there's a lot of you know references, Easter eggs, uh, yeah. referring to the Marvel universe. But as a movie, it was good. But like I said, it's similar to like Doctor Strange, etc. To me, where it's good the first time, mm-hmm. but I don't want to watch it again. It's, right, but you right. have to watch. It's it's, like, it's worth a watch, is mm-hmm. what I'm saying. But it's not worth a rewatch for me. Ako naman naisip ko. I have to watch it again. When I watch it, I have to watch it again to get it. You know, to get some to of the, get the, the some stuff. stuff. Yeah. yeah. For me, because it's just an. Because like Doctor Doctor Strange, I have to watch it three times. Really? I only it. watched it once. See, it's the same thing. I've only watched it once yeah. because I enjoyed it. But I don't want to watch it again. Hey, so you like get, get it on the first thing. No, no, not not even. I just feel like I mean, if ever I miss something, Somebody's there's like gonna, clips on YouTube yeah. or something. Uh, but also, funny thing, because I worked in a movie theater before, mm-hmm. 
I I hate rewatching movies. I don't know why if that because even just though because I, you because you know even though I had, I were, uh, had access to movies mm. and whatever I would only watch it once and I would never watch it again. There's very few I can name probably I there's probably maybe I can count on my hand that how many re-watched? times on my hands and maybe toes that I've rewatched in theaters. I've of course oh, yeah. I've rewatched it on TV if oh, it's yeah. randomly on. No, like on your computer or whatever. Yeah, of course. I mean you can rewatch stuff you know on your computer, but I'm talking but about on, in theaters. In, yeah, yeah. I've yeah, only yeah. there's several only a few that I remember rewatching. Uh, have you rewatched movies I in the theater? I think I did. Um, like I paid even before I was working in the theater. I, I paid for the first Transformers. <laughs> really? Yeah, because I had to like accompany my brother or something. Mm, no, no, not okay. Well, uh, maybe you mean wi- willingly, willingly? Willingly. I don't remember anything. Me first. The most recent is Infinity oh. War. I rewatch. I watched Infinity War six times in theaters. I wow. paid. I paid for you all paid six. Six times. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I watched uh, Infinity with people, War, of course, yeah, but... Infinity Infinity War twice willingly, and then the third time I had just had to yeah, uh, be with someone. And it. then probably like one of the Harry Potter movies. I, oh, I never I rewatched sure, it in theaters. Harry yeah, I'm Potter. sure I watched one of the Harry Potter movies because you have to. And about buying rewatched Inception, I rewatched Inception. Oh yeah, well, um, not in, in the theaters. Yeah. It's awesome. What's that? I can't recall that many. But anyway, Captain Marvel, Brie Larson, I thought it was very good. Mm-hmm. Uh, Costume. I like the the, the, the costume. costume. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty sick. Uh, I feel like you can wear it outside. I mean, it's <laughs> no? <very> wearable. <laughs> Brie Larson was. I, I really like. I actually, I first heard of Brie Larson. Well, I first knew of her in Twenty One Jump Street. Mm-hmm. She was so cute in that movie. I, I like never her... watched in that movie that you. you yeah, know, the book room. that I, room. She yeah, was, she was really good. Really, she was very good yeah. in that movie. I haven't seen it though. And grabe yung preparation nila for that movie because they they don't want to get it wrong mm-hmm. and everything. So. I, I like that about her. That yeah. she didn't just, you know, go into the movie, like, whatever this is. My favorite aspect of Captain Marvel, uh, once again, no spoilers, is Samuel L. Jackson, actually. Because, oh. you know, you always see Sam Jackson. Because this is set, this movie is set in the 80s? Okay. 70s? What's the 80s? Or late 80s. So you see a young, and the aging technology, you know how they have, like, that de-aging yeah. te- It's very well done. Nice. Like it's not overdone to the point or to the point <laughs> to the point where you're like, he looks so weird. It uh-huh. looks normal. It like looks he normal. looks like he's just a younger. Oh, that's uh, cool. And he has both eyes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody, Nick Fury. Yeah. So you'll find out how how uh, he lost that yeah, eye in the movie. I mean, uh, everybody knows. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. It's it's really good. The, the I mean, the, it's really good. The, their chemistry is great. Mm-hmm. Uh, I still think that they're going overboard with jokes, though. Just like Thor. Right, where you you lose a lot of serious moments because because of, a joke. of the jokes, yeah. I, that's why Thor Ragnarok was great, but there were some moments where it's like it was really good, and then mm-hmm. there's a joke, and it was a funny joke, but then you're like, but you kind of lose, you, you, yeah, you kind of lose that you like that gravitas, it? that uh, that uh, seriousness, Ooh, yeah, bukovilar, bukovilar, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it was good, it was good, it was good, yeah. Yeah. I really can't say anything because I haven't really watched mm. it. So and next month, pala is ano Avengers na pala April end of so April. Get so get soon. ready, yeah. get ready, guys. Yeah. And of course, all the Marvel again. movies are related, and oh, I'm so excited. Yeah. That one, I am so far. Yeah. Oh, I watched it by the way, and the uh, Directors Club in Podium. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you live or work near Ortigas, Podiums uh, Cinema is open already, mm-hmm. and it's only Directors Club. I want to try it. They don't have regular. Maybe just like once. Yeah, they don't have regular. I uh, know seats. Seats. Just, I just. I want to watch it. Uh, I want to watch a movie there that's really good that I really yeah. like. So. It's pretty pricey though, four hundred fifty-five. But I mean, you have. However, like, compared to the what? states, it's very, it's very, very mm. cheap now. Ah, uh, you get a free bag of popcorn. I don't okay. think it's only, but that's it. What is only? But voila. And you're not allowed outside food or drinks. But the the all things considered, the concession stand there is pretty cheap. Ninety nine pesos yata for a drink and like either a hot dog or like yeah. a nachos. No, because in Eastwood, I remember they have kind of a director's club, and then you get only drinks and popcorn. Popcorn, I don't know if it's only. In yeah, the, in the one in Mega Mall, you get two refills, I think. Oh, okay. Of a bowl. I you mean, don't, you, you don't really need yeah, more than you don't one. Need yeah. A lot, so. yeah. So no, what end up? We have one more tea. One I'll see more. Idris Elba. Oh yeah, Daddy Idris. So what's going? On? I didn't really read the article, but Wait, you no. told you told me about it before yeah. we recorded. Yeah, um, actually, it's trending right now. Mm. Um, uh, Idris Elba is in talks. In talks. Um, with the people from Suicide Squad, um, with replacing Will Smith as Deadshot. 
Deadshot. Okay, so yeah. I know a little history backstory about Will Smith at least. Will Smith uh, was Deadshot in the first mm-hmm. Suicide Squad movie, but he is officially dropped out of the sequel. Yes. Uh, because because of, of scheduling. Yes. Not because the, he didn't want yeah. to do it, but that's the that's the news on mm-hmm. the street. And they needed like <laughs> another A lister. I mean, Will Smith was uh, for me was really like let me. S- swaggy yeah, dead yeah. shot I really liked him mm-hmm. um, but I mean thinking of it, Idris Elba to gonna replace him it's gonna be different but it's also gonna be interesting I, I wonder how they're I'm gonna play that gonna... off are they just gonna ignore it kinda like uh, in see I know, see Rhodey from Iron Man but they replaced cause it's uh, no uh, Rhodey Rhodey from Iron Man who's Rhodey uh, oh yeah 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 see uh, uh-uh. the, the other Iron Man the, uh, <laughs> the silver yeah. one <laughs> The other one, yeah. Uh, it was Terrence Howard before, and then they replaced him mm-hmm. with Don Cheadle. Uh, but they didn't acknowledge it. Mm-hmm. They, they made a joke about it, but they didn't really acknowledge it. So you think they're just going to, if it does happen, Probably, they're just going to press could. forward? They just replaced, you know. Yeah, they could just, like, you know, go on with it. Cause if, what will, if... he, will he speak with an American accent? Because he's yeah. British, right? He yeah, he So yeah, he might play Deadshot. That's pretty cool. And I think it's going to be directed by James Gunn. Yes. So Ooh, if you it? Guardians, if you watch Guardians, oh, the first one and uh, the first two, uh, you know he has a knack for directing. Uh, but he's he had that issue, right? See James oh Gunn. yeah, Mm-mm. because of I think tweets by him, tweets. Yeah, tweets. Um, like years, years ago, yeah, years, years ago. ago. So that's why he's not on Guardians three. Yeah, so. and then however your thoughts are on that one, mm-hmm. I don't know how to. You know what? Because mm. we talked similar about Kevin Hart, right? Yeah. About how tweets resurfaced mm-hmm. and how and I I said that you were right that. If if you even because you said this, you have to kind of live with it. Yeah. But for me to get fired from a job that's already yeah. that you already have, mm-hmm. and okay, these aren't like the worst tweets. It's not the worst. I think I don't remember what James Gunn tweeted, but at least for Kevin Hart's mm-hmm. side, they were not they were jokes in poor taste. Yeah. I don't know what James Gunn tweeted because, but uh, I think it was I forgot what he. But, but yeah, I, I, I don't want to say. But anyway, I remember reading the the mm-hmm. James Gunn tweets, and I was thinking that yeah, that's not that's not nice. That's not yeah. good. But I think he apologized for mm-hmm. it, and to lose a job over it is major. Yeah, that's day. pretty extreme. I yeah. still stand by my you know because Disney it's by Disney my opinion. Uh oh. Yeah. Now you know you have to live with it. It's gonna be there forever. But at the same time, you know we can't be. Hindi ka naman hand of God to be like, you lose your job mm. and you can't do the thing that you love anymore, you know? We gotta give chances to people as yeah. well. But at the same time, we also have to talk about it because I feel like mm-hmm. some... Because a lot of things right now in the internet, um, they're so... Like, people are woke. Woke uh, Twitter. Diba? Diba? People are woke on Twitter. And it's the... I feel like it's the worst... Um, place to explain yourself Actually, on Twitter <laughs> has to be a right? there has to be a dialogue. Right? Yeah, so you know, I feel like we just have to talk about it and talk about it and talk about it. whatever issue that is. Mm-hmm. You know, we can't just be like, okay, stop kana or tama yeah. <laughs> But the issue, of course, with that being said, is it's it's difficult to have a dialogue online, on, online, especially yeah, if you're mm-hmm. communicating with mm-hmm. someone who. But, um, I was just uh, I just retweeted something or I shared something on Facebook actually it was um, um, an issue uh, what do you call this like a like an online feud between Cara Delevingne and Jamila Jamil yeah they were talking about uh, Carl Lagerfeld Lagerfeld I don't know who that is um, and then they had a really good uh, feud because it ended up not nasty so it's not a feud it's more like a, a conversation. conversation I loved it like yung parang they both had their points, mm-hmm. but at, in the end, nobody got hurt. They didn't, you know, step on anyone's toes. And I feel like that's how we should talk on Twitter. So I read something also. I, I saw a tweet. I didn't go into the whole backstory, but mm-hmm. I think uh, Terry Crews. He, I think I he said, Terry. I think he said something that offended like the, I think the LGBT mm-hmm. community, or I forgot maybe. Yeah. A, but he, 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 and on Twitter, he apologized for it and he acknowledged how his words. Kind of can affect. can affect or could have uh, you know hurt someone's yeah. feelings, and he he apologized for it, and I think I think that was yeah. Good. I mean, people have to realize because in you know what actually in my favorite murder they actually uh, talked about this also. People don't realize that we do not talk about things just to hurt people. Alam mo parang sometimes like us we we were on mm-hmm. radio we just talk freely. Yes, and we and when you feel. Um, what do you call this? When you some feel way about some something. way about it, or like offended, we didn't mean to offend you. It's just how we talk. Yeah. And the thing is, um, what they said was, 
um, some people actually just like um, saying that you're wrong. It me- it makes them feel better about themselves. Mm-hmm. Diba? Parang, I mean, obviously, we feel that way too. Na parang when you say someone's wrong, parang you feel a little bit, you're, I'm sometimes, better than you. Diba? Parang yeah. ganun. So, I, I think it's just nice to understand how people um, act online. Mm-hmm. Diba? Yeah, because uh, once again, going back to what you were talking about in terms of having a conversation with mm-hmm. someone it's difficult to do that with someone who has a like a prejudice. anonymous uh, uh. face oh yeah mm-hmm. uh, they don't show who they really are mm-hmm. because then they're they could say whatever yeah <laughs> and you know what i think everybody has that kind of f- fucked up side yeah where you i know I, c- I could say a lot of really fucked up things and mm-hmm. i you know sometimes i think a lot of effed up things but i don't think that i'm like a bad person but right. we all have these things inside of us mm-hmm. where we're like you know i can't believe i thought of that mm-hmm. but these people have these anonymous accounts they can say that stuff and it's out there yeah and you it's hard to deal with someone mm-hmm. like that so uh which actually is great because we okay we'll answer one we got this question this okay. one from uh hicks Jin hicks s Jin, uh who actually listens with uh, their fiance the one we <gasps> greeted last time on, in cool. i think they're in manila okay. uh they said what can you say about being judged because of your music preference and i think this is great for especially for what we're talking about the okay. online thing Uh, I saw um, uh, Susie, Susie mm-hmm. from uh, Magic, her, yeah. her Twitter. She tweeted about how the the status of fandoms mm-hmm. on Twitter and mm-hmm. online are so toxic, and it's it, it's true. Uh, yeah, I totally okay, get it. Not yeah. not not bashing any fandoms in no, particular. So again, we're just talking. We're just here. talking. You For know, example, there are anyone. there are a lot of K-pop fans, mm-hmm. and not all of you. Uh, I think it's actually very Some, small, a very yeah. small number. Who are so uh, protective, they, protective of mm-hmm. their of their well for of their fandom, but mm-hmm. also they like to bring down fandoms that are considered like their rivals. Right. Yeah. And yeah, it's not yeah. just K-pop, totally but I, K-pop is where I see it a mm-hmm. lot. But I've seen it with Katy Perry and Taylor, Taylor Swift, Swift and Ariana fans, mm-hmm. where they try to and and Camila Cabello fans actually, yeah. where basically if if you say shit about uh, their favorite artist, they'll mm-hmm. bring down their the other person's artist. Mm-hmm. And it's so bad. It's so yeah. terrible. So mm-hmm. they can say terrible things. Yeah, like, yeah it's absolutely. And they're bad. always comparing like records. Like, mm-hmm. oh, blank sold more than blank. Yeah. So we're better than you. But then they'll say, yeah, but did she win the Grammy? No. Yeah. Uh, how about their live performance? It's a fucking and, riot yeah, out you know. there. <laughs> and so, how do you feel about being judged by the musical? You know, by your musical taste. That's just one way to look at okay. it. I'm just saying that I, I felt like that was a good segue. Mm-hmm. Uh, into this conversation about fandoms and being judged about your music choices yeah. and who you stan <laughs> stan stan. If you don't know what stan, I, I had to Google it because I, I mean, I can, I could, I could have guessed, mm-hmm. but if you didn't know what, if you see like I stan this or stan Twitter, mm-hmm. stan. Uh, there's an Eminem song called yeah. Stan uh, from the late '90s, early 2000s, okay. and it's about an obsessive fan. Uh, so when you say you stan something. It's like you're a f- super fan. Of you're it. super obsessed. So I stan with that. Ariana Grande means that you are a stan. You are a stan like the stan in the song. In the you're song. a super uh, fan, okay. like obsessive fan. That's what it means. Mm-hmm. So how do you feel about that? Like it's just for me, it's sad <coughs> that people use music to bring other people down. Mm-hmm. When music is such a general thing like it's for everyone yeah, to actually. consume you know it's not just for one group of people mm-hmm. and and it's just so sad that people use it you know for for this yeah. you know for this kind of violence it's not like physical but yeah. you know with words and everything mm-hmm. and you could definitely hurt people with words okay just be you know just be honest mm-hmm. and um so yeah i i i guess I, i don't understand yeah So, because I'm not part of any fandom, right. like yung parang super legit. I know I'm a fan of Rihanna and yeah, I call yeah, myself yeah. part of the army and everything, mm-hmm. but you know, I don't really um, yeah, you participate don't in any of discussions those discussions. Yeah, or the whatever. discussions or activities and everything. I just support the artist. Mm-hmm. So it's just for me, it's sad. It is. Yeah, na parang you know what? Ito na nga lang yung language that everybody could relate to and mm-hmm. everyone could communicate with. And we, you know, we tear each other down with this. Yeah. You know? But I'm sorry, but, you know, you shouldn't, <laughs> you shouldn't do that. Yeah. Well, on the other side of that question, because that was more of like a tangent of that question. Yeah. What I think they were really asking, mm-hmm. it, it, it's just my guess, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, uh, Hicks Jen, uh, is that how do you feel about being judged about 
your musical choice in general. Like, uh, for example, uh, if some people, if you listen to mainstream, mm. they're like, you're, you're, you're so basic. basic. <laughs> and then there's people who, if you listen to indie, you're so hipster. Hipster. I think that's or what like they're getting at. Or like yung mga hipster ng judge ng mga yeah. who likes pop music. And, and there's uh, there's this term that I learned a while ago, mm-hmm. and I hope I'm using it correctly. It's called like gatekeeper, okay, gatekeeping. Okay. And I see that happening in music as well as other like uh, fandoms. Yeah, it's yung parang kanwari, they find out about a song yeah. and then they want they don't want people to find out about it. Actually, something. it's the op. Well, I don't know. I, for me, it's like for example. Uh, mm. You find out about an artist okay. and you're like, oh, I love uh, Ariana Grande. Okay. And then the Ariana gatekeepers would be like, oh, really? You love Ariana Grande? What's, what's her, her favorite? What's her, yeah, what was her first yeah. album? What was her? Where did she grow like, up? Like you can't You just, can't let them into this fandom uh-oh. unless you know all these things. Like you can't just appreciate a song. Parang gano, yeah. parang... Think about it as like the, the door, the doorman yes. to the fandom. That's right. what a gatekeeper is. And then when you answer the right questions, you're like, you're yep, in. You're in. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's such a That's terrible. So ridiculous. Yeah, it's such a terrible uh, like uh, mindset as Mm-mm. well to be think... judged by the, your music or what you like. Or yeah. even if you like something... But you have to like mm-hmm. all of it, apparently, to like it all, which is We stupid. We talked about this um, on The Morning Rush. Mm-hmm. And I think um, one of the reasons why they do that is because when you say, na parang, I'm such a big fan of Ariana Grande. Mm-hmm. And then that's where they... Parang dun yung, dun sila na, that's where they Get put affected. up their defenses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Na parang, ah, you're such a big fan pala. Yeah, yeah. As opposed to just saying, I like Ariana Grande's song. Yeah. Alam mo yun, parang... In, in actually, I, I admit I've done that, but not in music. Like, in... basketball. Bandwagon. We talked about it before. Yeah, Bandwagon yeah, yeah. fans. So, for fans who are like, I love the Golden State Warriors, mm-hmm. who are the best team, like, hands down in the NBA. Well, yeah. It's subjective, but you know, if you're an NBA fan, you know the Golden State Warriors are the team to mm-hmm. beat. They've been the champion for the last two years. So when you see all these people who love Golden State, sometimes have I'm like, have here, you been uh... a Golden State fan? Do you know Baron Davis? Do you know like yeah, 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 these yeah. people who were there before they got good? Mm-hmm. And for most part, they don't. Yeah. But you know, I, I feel like it shouldn't. I shouldn't do that either. That's that's not a good thing. But still. <laughs> yeah, it's like we have our own things. And yeah, yeah, like that. yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah, it's just that. I feel like we can't appreciate things anymore, especially online without it being loaded with, you know. True. With anything. True. And even, even I do it. Like, alam mo yung parang, every time I want to tweet something, I always think about other people. I don't like, tweet na nga, really eh. Anyway. Yeah, alam mo yun, but I, I, I just, you know, except for that one, you know, tweet the, about... The TV Pete Davidson? <laughs> you the I hater. Just, I just, look, look, nobody hated me about it because it's true. Because it was on point, baby. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, that's, that's... okay guys, um, you know what? The lesson here is just chillax lang tayo yeah, online. Don't, okay? if, you know, if somebody says they like music, just be like, yeah. okay, that's cool. I like Whatever. my music. And if you don't like their music, just be like oh man relax because for I me mean, i'm not I, i'm not it, the biggest k-pop fan yeah and lexi loves k-pop and I, you know i joke around with her like man lexi i always listen to k-pop <laughs> but at the same time you know it's not like i'm not like lexi don't fucking don't listen, listen to k-pop yeah. why are you listening to that look it's just that you can be passionate about something without hating other people exactly okay boom words boom. of wisdom mic drop holla holla show <laughs> quote that baby uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Wait, good timing, good timing. Mm, We're nice, right about nice, the hour nice. toit. mark. Toit. Toit like a toy gun. Where's that from? Toit like a toy gun. No. Uh, I, was, I was referencing B99. So. Yeah, that's right. You know what? I watched the Amy and Jake episode again and I cried again. Oh, wait, which one? Wait, no. When they got married. Uh, spoilers. Uh, Oi, sobra. Uh, oh, it's since we're at mix, huh? 20. Yeah. 20, uh, yeah, I guess this could be a good gauging point for us. So or... I know there are a lot. Of, well, if you're here at mix 20 and you've listened for 20 mixes, I assume you are... that you're a, like an OG. That's your Is watch. That me? Yeah, it's your watch. OG uh, Leche fan or Ube okay. Babe. So I would think that this is a good uh, opportunity now. To ask all the Ube Babes and Leche fans who have been there since day one, mix one, mm. you know, is there something that you want us to do differently now? Is there a yeah. change, a new segment you want us to add? Maybe how to change things up? Do you want us to not do 
for example, I don't know, some uh, vocabulary yeah. anymore, for example. I was just thinking about it because I was thinking about it. It's like, man, I, I feel like we should add stuff, oh. but then it might make things too long. So how would we revamp it, for example? You know what, like a actually? a season change? Or... Yeah, you know what, actually? I want... I can. I want to suggest something. What's that? Like, uh, we should have like a because in. Okay, fine. I guess. Yeah, I mean, I did, I'll say it so that we can we can so that they can uh, uh, set, agree or uh, disagree. Well, no, yeah. Well, they can at least give uh, their opinion on. Yung it. Yung we have like a, a, a what do you call this? A segment where we correct stuff that we want to correct from the previous segment. Ah, uh, like mistakes. Yeah, we, like, yeah alam mo yun, and then we can come up with a name or something. That's true. I don't know, I'm just 30 yeah, If you guys there. can think of one, let yeah. us know. I had something that I was just thinking about because uh, I was on YouTube last night. Mm-hmm. Or no, I was, on, I was listening to music on Spotify last night. Okay. And I, I all of a sudden I got to thinking about all these songs that I used to listen to when okay. I was younger. And I searched it and they're not on Spotify. Oh. So I was thinking what if we could suggest songs or at least maybe bring back memories Uh-oh. of songs that You can't find on Spotify. You read it on Quezon City, meron meron yun. Really? Wanna, yeah, so Spotify meron. Really? Yun, meron oh my gosh, yun. I'm so happy. However, there's songs. For example, uh, there's this song that you might know. It's called uh, "Missing You" by First Lady. Do you know that song? Dun, 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 dun. Okay, it was go. popular here. Wait, go go dun, go. Dun, 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 dun. And then she sings. Like, <laughs> I, I sighed so hard to forget this. Maybe if and I then, listen to the whole song. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's not on Spotify. And uh-huh. also, there's this boy band called NLT. Okay. They're not on Spotify either. Oh, yeah. I like NLT. NLT yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I One remember. of the members is in, was in Glee. See, Arch. Yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah. yeah. So they're not on Spotify. I like NLT. Yeah. And then there's one of the members. His name is Travis Garland. Mm-hmm. He's on Spotify. But the song that I like that he mm-hmm. made, uh, it's called didn't stand a chance mm-hmm. is not on Spotify. I thought oh, it'd be cool. Man. I thought it'd be cool to like... Actually, dapat nga si Morelli nandun na rin sa Spotify. Or maybe they do. Who? Yung the girl band on YouTube na parang they blend with voice. Anyway. Yeah, so there. Or, I don't yeah. know how you say it. Uh, I thought that would be a cool thing like to oh, bring man, up. Oh man, I love it. There's so many songs that I know that are not on Spotify that are like, why are they not on Spotify? And I, it would be, I think it would be a good opportunity for A, to bring back memories for people who were yeah. like, oh yeah, or B, be like, yo, that's a good song. Mm-hmm. La lang. I don't know. If you guys have any ideas, let us know. Uh, the best way to contact us is on Twitter and Instagram. Okay, so it's at the Halo Halo Show on Twitter, but on Instagram, it's only at the Hello, hello, show. <laughs> drop the the. the. Drop the the. Don't But, drop the the the. Oh, drop cool. The, the, okay, the. Anyway, <laughs> that was a cool segue. It was right. We DJ ka ba? Yeah, you anyway. can email us too at the hello hello show at gmail dot com. Especially yeah. if you if you want to partner up with us, for example, mm-hmm. uh, if you have any like sponsorship partnerships or whatever. Uh, that's our goal this year. We're trying It to find up. something. We're trying to find something. Yeah, I think it's gonna grow even bigger because you know what? Our listenership is at like forty. In terms of total listens, mm-hmm. we're almost at 50,000. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's Craziness. like 50,000 people or yeah, ears. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, so technically, it's a pair of ears. Yeah. Okay. It's like 100,000 ears. Oh, man. Boom. Don't, don't <laughs> say that. It's like, it's making me anxious. <laughs> You know how other like you know how other podcasts they have like live shows and everything, and that then I was just awesome, thinking, right? I was just thinking, what if we have a live show? But I can't be like this in a live show. Why not? I mean, That's the whole I... point of the show is because we are who we are, right? I think you could do it. You just anyway. have to do it in the right context. Yeah. I'm just gonna. It'd be weird imagine... though people watching us like yo. I know, I'm just talking. <laughs> <laughs> but they do that. They're, yeah, I know. There are podcasters in the no, states but, like, that just go on t- road shows. Yeah, and people watch them t- talk. I know it's weird, it's but weird. like I'm good. Yeah, cool. <laughs> hit us up. We still have to do the tres leches or whatever we're gonna yeah, call it. Yeah, Mike three. Something. Yeah, Mike three or tres leches. Uh, mm-hmm. We're still working on it, guys. We're kind of busy, but you know what? I'm finally this is the first time in a while where I'm not super busy. Okay. So I'm gonna try to set something up. Okay. Yeah. Also, um, don't forget to tag us uh, to put the hashtag everywhere. Mm-hmm. It's hashtag the Halo Halo Show, so that when we click on it, we see everything. So yeah. It's streamlined, and we don't get lost. In the, uh, you know, yeah. the internet. And you know what keeps us going? It just even if you don't have anything to say about, uh, or if you don't have to respond to a question or whatever, if you just want to tell us that you listen, that's really nice, yeah. dude. That's really the best. Like, uh, tag us in an IG story or tweet us. Just say you're listening. Or even if you're listening now and maybe it's what, let's pretend that we're in June now. Uh. If you're listening in June of 2019 and it's your first time listening to this now, dude, that would be awesome if you yeah. just t- it's like, yo, man. 
I listen. I listen. It's really cool. It's really cool. You can hear and it at people in the office in the background. Told you we don't edit anything. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you to our uh, audio microphones from Lazad. Uh, from yeah, Lazada called Mickle. Mickle. Rhymes with. with. Oh, yeah. Rhymes <laughs> with uh, Zickle. Zickle. M I C K L E. It's called the M M U S one hundred. By the way, it's only it's like one five per yeah. mic, and we that's all we use. We just use these two mics. Uh, a USB, some cords. Like, yeah, some cords <laughs> to a USB thing, and then uh, laptop. a laptop, and That's then it. yeah, and then we just edit it, uh, edit and the our, audio, on, and our mouths, yeah, our lips. <laughs> That's, That's my disgusting. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it, man. Uh, catch you on the next mix. We still got the love, special love mix, which we haven't done You know yet. what? I feel like we're so... Um, we're going to do it, though. We're afraid to do yeah, it. Yeah, we're afraid to do it because it's about love and we feel like... <laughs> it's a heavy... It's a we heavy, don't deserve it's it. some no, heavy shit, kidding. dude. Uh, no, we can make it funny. Yeah, I know, but it's still... Yeah. It's the love. Yeah, because I was going to talk about marriage in that. Whoa, yeah. There. Not me. I'm just saying that's us. That's something that's... that I think about a lot. Yeah. Lately. Not because I'm thinking about getting it, but it's just something that I'm like, oh my God. Anyway. <laughs> Awkward. We got to head out of here. Awkward. What's the, what's the, Anna? What's the extra song today? Do, there should be a cool extra song. Where were do, we talking about it? <laughs> do, oh, you do, know what? You know do, what? Do, do, hey, hold on, hold on. I'm going to play the. <laughs> Well, hey, we, we need kailangan from our mouths. Ah, no, but I, but we can do it. I, oh man, through my mouth. Ah, fine. You can. <laughs> what is it, ba? Here, I'm gonna. I, well, we have you time. Do it. If you, you want to listen, you okay, it. you, you can. It. You guys can stop the thing now. But if you want to listen to this song that I was talking about, that's not on Spotify. Kita mo ang bagal ng internet. Ang bagal ng internet. That's my inter my mobile legends ad, ba? <laughs> <laughs> And it's not loading. Well, you can bang. skip ad in five seconds. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, uh, one. Here. Okay, I think you'd know this. Okay. Here, I'm gonna fast uh, forward lang. Oh, far wide, go. Oh god, that's why oh. I hate fast forwarding because it, then it loads. <laughs> oh. Do you know this song? No. Da, na, 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 na. Hold on. I don't. I don't Hold know on. this Listen song. Listen to this. Here we go. Dude, if you know this song, if you're an Ubi fan, let your fan, if you know this song, we gotta head on out of here. Hello, the show. Hello, hello, show. See Bye. you tomorrow. Bye. Things will never be the same without you. Bye. <laughs>